Our San Francisco Giants have been on an absolute tear as of late. They have themselves an eight-game lead over the Los Angeles Dodgers in the National League West, and they are 9-1 and one in their last 10. To end the month of August, they swept the Mets in Flushing, they swept the Nationals in D.C., they swept Boston at home, they swept Toronto at home, took 2 of 3 from Arizona, and now to start off September, they have already taken one game in this upcoming Dodgers series that is a set of four. And throughout this streak that the Giants have been on, Reyes Morantz at the back end of the bullpen has been flat out dominant. He won Pitcher of the Month in the National League in the month of August. And now we actually hop into this series, Giants and Dodgers, two longtime rivals going at it here in LA in early September. Walker Bueller, the stud right-hander, is on the hill for the Dodgers. He'll be opposed by the man picked up at the trade deadline, the left-hander Robbie Ray, making his 28th start of the season. Start things off top half of the first inning, Elliot Ramos is going to lead off the ball game with a hit into the right center field gap. He's going to head into second base, but he's not stopping there. He's got fleet feet, and he uses them to get into third base with a leadoff triple. Hell of a way to start off the game, brings up the king of the first inning home run, who... Gotcha! Not a home run this time, just an RBI single. It's a 1-0 lead for the Giants. Then Javi Baez comes to the plate. He draws himself a walk, the runner on first and second now, nobody out. Aaron Altair then hits a ball into left field, so it's bases juiced for the Giants. Nobody at Peter Mooney hits a ground ball on the first pitch to second base. It's a 4-6-3 double play. Run does come in to make it 2-0, though. So runner on third, two outs. Joey Bart then strikes out. The Giants only get two out of the inning. Move things on to the bottom of the second where Max Muncy... Ground ball back to the pitcher, Ray, with who makes a kick save and a beauty to flex right over to first base, and they get the runner, as then they would strike out Sanchez to end the second inning. Top of the third now, Elliot Ramos back at the plate. He draws himself a walk this time around. And then Jock Peterson in the second inning is when he goes yard. Already two hits on the day, a single that drove in a run, and now a two-run shot for his 30th home run of the season makes it a 4-0 Giants lead. Bueller's not happy with himself, and he continues to give up hits. This one, a dead center home fielder, sort of dead center home home run from Javi Baez, his 29th of the season, and it's now a 5-0 lead for the Giants as they are just piling it on their rival here. Bottom of the fourth now, J.D. Martinez going down looking for out number two. And then Cody Bellinger would actually get the Dodgers' first hit of the ball game. They did not get one until two outs in the bottom of the fourth. But then the inning would be ended as Max Muncy swings through a curveball. So it's on to the bottom of the fifth now. A.J. Pollock whiffing through a pitch for strike number three. First out of the inning, and then it's Sanchez hitting a line drive in the left, right, left field. Jack Peterson not just doing it with the bat, but doing it with the glove as well. A diving catch. Let's take another look at this one in slow motion. Beautiful play by Jack against his former team in his former ballpark, and then the inning would be ended as a slider locks up the catcher Ruiz on a backdoor slider. So now bottom half of the seventh, Cody Bellinger hits a line drive that just gets out of here in a hurry in right field. The Dodgers are finally on the board with Cody Bellinger's 200th already career home run. So it's a 5-1 game. Ben Ray would give up a double to Max Muncy, and that's going to be the end of his day as Muncy gets into second base easily. So Ray would come out of the ball game. He pitched a fantastic game, but then he just ran out of gas here in the seventh. So Jason Tutman comes on with a runner on second and nobody out. First batter up, A.J. Pollock going down on the slider. That's one down. Next batter up is Sanchez, the second baseman, whiffing through the 96-mile-an-hour fastball for out number two. And then the inning comes to an end when Ruiz swings through the 94-mile-an-hour fastball. Or 
correction, that was a changeup as Tupman gets three strikeouts. That would pretty much end it in this game as the Giants come away with the victory over their rival Los Angeles Dodgers here in LA by a score of five to one. Only six hits on the day for the Giants, but they were all big ones. Jock Peterson had an RBI single plus a two run home run. Javi Baez had a solo shot. Elliot Ramos had a triple. Devin Travis even had a double. Robbie Ray struck out nine batters through six innings strong, only gave up one earned run and walked only one batter while giving up only four hits. Last episode, we saw that Jock Peterson has been struggling a bit, but he is no longer struggling. The OPS is back up to 846. He's got 30 bombs on the season. He's back to being Jock. And now the 91-win Giants head down to the Boogie Down to take on the 90-win New York Yankees in the Bronx. James Paxton, the left-hander, getting the start. Big Maple on the hill for the Yankees. He'll be opposed by a Giants lefty in Tyler Skaggs who, as of just like the rest of the team, has been on fire as of recently. Giants lineup 1-2-9, there you have it, as well as the opposing Bronx Bombers lineup. So start things off top, bottom of the second inning, Miguel Andujar jumping on the first pitch he sees. That ball is going to get into the left field seats. A solo shot for Miguel Andujar, and the Yankees take a 1-0 lead. Peter Mooney now at the dish for the Giants here in the top of the third, and he is going to bloop a ball into left field that just barely gets over the glove of Miguel Andujar, perfectly placed to land in there for a single, and then Seth Beer with the hit and run on sends a ball at the deep right center field. Everybody thinks it's going to be gone on the Giants' side, but it's caught right at the wall. Mooney past third base has no chance to get back to first. They double him up for the third out of the inning. We move things on to the fourth now, where Justin Turner going up the gut is going to bloop one in front of the center fielder Hicks. And then Stuart Fairchild is going to hit a ball on the ground up the middle. And it's back-to-back -back base knocks for the Giants. So it's first and second, two outs for San Francisco. Devin Travis at the dish, and he could not pull the trigger on the fastball. He goes down looking. Still a 1-0 ball game. Bottom half of the frame now. Glaber Torres at the plate hits a missile. A line drive into the left field seats. Another solo shot into that left side of, of the ballpark for the Yankees. This one off the bat of Torres makes it a 2-0 game. Ramos then comes to the plate in the top of the six. Hits a ball hard on the ground that Miguel Andujar somehow makes a nice play on. But then Javi Baez with two outs would send a pitch into, you guessed it, those left field seats. A Third solo shot of the game combined between these two teams. It's now a 2-1 ball game. Top of the seventh here, Devin Travis hits a ball into right field that lands in front of Judge for a base knock. That would end James Paxton's day. He gives his hat a tip to the crowd as he was phenomenal on the day for the Yankees. Carter Caps then comes on. The former Giant strikes at his former teammate in Tetsuda Yamada for the second out. And then they bring on another pitcher in lefty Zach Britton to face the lefty Peter Mooney. But he is no slouch against lefties. Hits a ball hard into right center but it's going to be right at Aaron Judge, who then comes to the plate in the bottom half of the frame, gets a ball into left field through the left side of the infield, and that's going to be a single for Judge. It will knock Tyler Skaggs out of the game. So Rysel Iglesias comes on in a big situation, facing the heart of the Yankees' order, and Miguel Andujar gets a slider out over the end of the plate, pokes it into the short porch, a two-run shot this time for Andujar. It's now a 4-1 to one lead for the Bronx Bombers. On to the top of the eighth now as Joey Bart is going to get a pitch to handle. He sends it at the right center, and this one's also getting in the seats. We've got home runs galore here in the Bronx as that cuts the lead in half. It's now a 4-2 ball game. Chad Green then comes on to place, replace Zach Britton. With one out, it's Elliot Ramos hitting the ball right back up the gut for a single. So he's on first, then Javi Baez comes up and hits the ball into left field. So back-to-back -back singles for the Giants. First and second, one out brings up Justin Turner, who could not make contact on the 95-mile-an-hour fastball inside. Then the big bat of Jock Peterson comes up with a chance to give the Giants the lead. Gets a pitch to hit, but just gets slightly under it. Pops it up the deep right field. Judge is under it for a can of corn. We now move on to the ninth where Dellen Batances is looking for the save. And with runner on so with a runner on first and two outs, a chance to tie the game for Joey Bart. And he does not do anything with it. Pops up the right field. 
easy catch for Judge, and the Yankees come away with the win here over the Giants in the Bronx in some interleague action. Miguel Andujar obviously gets player of the game honors. He was 3 for 3 on the day with two home runs, a two-run shot, and then also a solo shot. Glaber Torres also homered, and then so did Javi Baez and Joey Bart for the Giants in this 4-2 win for the Bombers over the San Francisco Giants. It is time for game 162. The Giants have already clinched the division over the Dodgers and they're taking on the Rockies here at Coors Field. Herman Marquez rocking the purple tops for the Rockies and getting the start his 33rd of the season. And then so will Robbie Ray, the lefty for the Giants. Take a look at San Francisco's lineup 129 on the day as well as the opposing Colorado Rockies lineup. We'll start things off top half of the first inning. Lorenzo Ordonia is leading things off for the Giants in this one. Hits a ball into right center field. That's going to get into the gap up against the wall. Ordonia has some fleet feet, so he's able to get into third base easily. Slides in feet first, so that's a great way to start off a ball game. Brings up the king of the first inning home run with 32 home runs on the season. Make it 33. A two-run shot for Jack Peterson, and it's now a 2-0 lead to start off this game for the Giants. They were not done there, though. As Javi Baez then comes up to the plate as the next batter, and he hits a ball into left center field that's going to get out of here as well. Back to back between Jock and Baez. As now it's a three-run game, we move on to the bottom of the first inning. Rene Herman, who we just saw in the minor league update video, comes up for the Rockies. And he's going to hit a ball the deep left field that's also going to get out of here. A solo shot off the bat of the leadoff man from the Rockies makes it a 3-1 game. We're now on to the bottom of the third with two outs. Colton Welker powers one out the left center field. That's going to get down into the gap and up against the wall. It's an easy double for Colton Welker. So he's on second in scoring position for Charlie Blackman. Hits a ball up the middle. Aaron Altair fields, chucks it to the plate. And they're not going to test his arm, so runners on the corners with two outs for Trevor Story. And he's going to hit a ball into right center field. That's going to get down easily into the gap, and that's going to score both runs. A bases clearing double for Trevor Story ties the game at three. And that three-run spotted lead that the Giants gave them is gone. And now the Rockies have themselves a lead as Dom Nunez, the catcher, hits a no-doubt shot in the bottom of the fourth inning. But then Robbie Ray would settle in. Now with one out, he strikes out McMahon for out number two. And then for out number three, it would bring up Marquez, the pitcher, who whiffs through the slider. And then Ray continues the next inning by facing Herman. No home run for you this time. Whiffs through the fastball up and away. And then for out number two, it would bring on Welker, who whiffs through the slider down and away. And then for out number three, to top off striking off the side, it would be Charlie Blackman on the slider. That is five straight strikeouts for Robbie Ray. He does his thing. So under the top of the six now, Jock Peterson going oppo this time. Doesn't have enough range to get out of here. It does a second home run of the ball game for Jock Peterson. That is now 34 home runs on the season. As Logan Webb comes on in the bottom of the six with a runner on, with nobody on, with one out, Matt Adams then hits a ball to right center field. That's going to get off of the wall, the bottom of the wall, and Big City has himself a double for the Rockies. So runner in scoring position for one out. Ball gets into the dirt, but Weeders blocks, and Adams tries to move to the third for whatever reason. He's dead meat, two down in the inning now. And then Nunez gets go, gets down a look in on the curveball that nicks the outside of the strike zone for strike number three. Ryan Castellani comes on the top of the seventh for the Rockies. Facing Devin Travis, that's going to be a base knock, so runner on first base with one out now. Brings up Matt Wieters. Hits the ball into the air to right center field. Somehow, this is not caught by anybody. It gets down into the gap, and that's going to be cause a whole bunch of confusion with the runners so it's only going to be second and third with one out for the Giants. Gilberto Fuentes then comes up to pinch hits and he is going to be first pitch swinging. Gets a ball out into left field. They still don't know if it's going to get down but it ends up hitting off the wall so everybody only moves up one base. It's now a 5-4 game 
and the as the throw gets by the third baseman, but it is cut off. So now they intentionally walk Ordonez to get to the man who already has two home runs on the day in Jock Peterson. Bold strategy cotton. We'll see if it pays off. It does. A two-seamer with just enough movement to get Peterson to swing through it as nothing going on for the rest of the inning. Yency Almonte then comes on in the top of the eighth as Aaron Altair is going to be the first batter he faces. Hits a ball down the right field line for an easy double. He's in scoring position now with one out for Devin Travis. Powers a ball the center field. Looks like it's probably just going to be a deep fly ball, but it keeps carrying and carrying, and it gets out of here. Dead center field, two-run shot for Devin Travis. It's now a 7-4 to four ball game, but they were not done there. Wade Davis on for the ninth to keep it where it is. Jock Peterson at the plate, and he did not. This man refuses to stop hitting home runs. That's three on the day, 35 on the season. Thank you, Coors. And that would wrap things up in this game as the Giants' offense explodes in this one for an 8-4 victory over the Rockies here in Game 162 as the Giants have officially won 100 games on the 2022 season. Jock Peterson is obviously player of the game. Three home runs on the day, four RBI. Devin Travis also homered. Lorenzo Ordonez had a triple. Javi Baez homered. Just an all-around great game offensively for the Giants, the top off an all-around great regular season for the Giants as they are now going to be heading into the playoffs and the next episode you will see will be the end of regular season recap plus playoff preview and then we will be hopping into the playoffs. So with that being said, that's going to wrap things up here for this edition of the San Francisco Giants franchise. I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I am saying it's Jack Hughes season, baby!